Hey everyone, it's Matt aka Tech Ranger. Today we're going to be taking another look at Star Wars Jedi Survivor, picking up on our gameplay series with Episode 4. Last we left off, we got to Kobo, which is kind of our main hub area, and we have to meet up with Grease. Hopefully the audio is a little bit better on this episode rather than the last few. Because I got a new microphone. Drinks ain't the worst, and if you're running from a blaster, better run a little faster. Run to Pi Loon Saloon, and we hope we see you soon. I don't think I remember that from the first run. Ah, potential customers. What will it be? Nothing. Thanks. Oh, well, that's a mistake. I'm looking for an old friend. Four arms. Harry. Big mouth. Ow. Vertically challenged. You can come out now, old boy. The coast is clear. I tell you, Monk, the Bedlam Raiders are gonna be the end of this town. We got no hope. Zero. Zilch. Nothing. How you doing, BD? Ah. Wait a minute. <gasps> Cal. Cal, can't just get over here, you son of a bogling. Oh. oh, it's been a while. I missed you, kid. Hey. Let me look at you. Oh, you look terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see you too, Grease. <laughs> hey, are you taking care of him? Grease was hilarious in the last game. Well, uh, we ran into some trouble on our last job. What sort of trouble? The Imperial kind. Oh, okay. I should have guessed. They've been creeping around Kobo too lately. Kara's burnt out on the Mantis. We'll need your help to get moving again. Yeah, sure, whatever you need. Come on, grab some seat. Listen, Monk, get my friend something special to drink. Refreshments. One slippery Monk coming right up. Welcome to Pilot Saloon, the finest dive this side of Zaltros. <laughs> yeah, your description uh, didn't do it justice. Here's sand in your eye. Monk and I picked it up from the previous owner to a... Uh, well, uh, well... He caught a fatal case of blaster poisoning, courtesy of the Bedlam Raiders. We've been introduced. You okay, Grease? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> as long as I don't have anything they need. Hey, what happened to the Manus? Oh, we are on Coruscant, gathering intel for Saw Gerrera. Things got bad. Only two of us made it out. <laughs> Everything I'm doing feels pointless. The Empire's only growing stronger. Things, uh... haven't been the same since the team split up. Yeah, hey, we had some good times, didn't we? Huh? Me, you, the Space Witch, Seer. Have you talked to her lately? Marin's always on the move, exploring new places, making new friends. I was talking about Seer. <laughs> no. It's been a while. You? Well, her credits helped us get this place off the ground, but she hasn't visited yet. She's very busy with this new project. <laughs> hey, Cal. Why don't you relax a little before we fix the manis? The galaxy can wait a couple hours. Well, we should probably get moving as soon as we finish up. I got a spare room down in the basement made up especially for you. You should check it out. All right. Thanks, Grace. So this um, this bar, Grease's bar, it actually acts as a little bit of a hub, like a safe area for you. And then there's all these patrons in here too that you can talk to. For example, we'll talk to this dude over here. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Is there a problem? I could have sworn I heard you stirring up a raider-sized problem just outside. I didn't start that fight. Well, it certainly seems you finished it. I'd love to chat, but I'd better finish my drink before the next fight breaks out. So he's kind of shrugging us off, but basically when you come back to this place, you can talk to these different patrons and get like different side quests. Uh, for this gameplay series, we're just going to focus on the main story. That can't be up to code. Even out here on the frontier. But um, there's a really cool storyline too uh, with this person over here. Um, they're a bounty hunter. So when you talk to them, 
eventually you kind of warm up to him. It's actually not until like the midpoint of the game where uh, he can pick up like a bounty hunter storyline, which is really good. Which is also a really cool cameo. There's the kitchen. Almost the must be through here. Wow. Grease really outdid himself. Grease always had a green thumb. You now he talks to his plants. We have to take a rest. Still talking in your sleep, huh? Guess some things never change. Weirdo. Hairball. <laughs> Thanks for letting me crash here. Of course. Why do you think I've kept your stuff around all these years? I was hoping you'd stop by and maybe take a break. We both know what happens when I stay in one place too long. You said there's a spare gyro around here somewhere? We've got plenty of time to fix the madness. You are what I want to talk about. I'm fine. The sooner we get moving, the better. And then what? You're gonna go find some trouble with Saw Guerrera? Maybe. Yeah. One of us has to keep fighting. That's funny. That's the exact same thing you said the day we all split up. Yeah, because I... Mm -hmm. Looks like we know the reason why they all split up. I know you all had your reasons for leaving. But walking away isn't an option for me. I have to hold the line. And where's that gun, you cow? Look, I wish things were different, but you keep losing people. And you yourself said that the Empire is growing stronger every day. Now, maybe it's time for you to be something more than a lightsaber. Think about yourself. Settle down. Find a home. What home, Grease? There is no home. Home was the order. It was my teacher. It was everyone I lost. What does their sacrifice mean if I go and I just give up and stick my head in the sand? I know you were dealt a bad hand, but you got to take it from me. Somebody who had to learn the hard way. You got to know when to walk away from a rigged game. Otherwise, you are going to end up losing something you could never replace. Now you go ahead and look. I keep a lot of spare parts down there. I'm sure you'll be able to find whatever you need to get the manis up and running. Thanks. I appreciate all this. Kyle, can I tell you one thing? It's really good seeing you again. Yeah, you too. Agrees. I'll think about what you said. Hey, uh, watch your step down there. Be careful. <laughs> I definitely have a pest problem. Sounds like some combat. So Grease is definitely kind of like, um, if you watch Star Wars Rebels, um, like a Hera, Syndulla, or uh, Ahsoka, she's like, basically like a, she was basically like a mom. Um, of that crew and and that's kind of like what Grease is. He's like the dad uh, He just kind of cares about everybody Old smuggling tunnels, huh? Grease always kept a few secrets up his sleeve uh, But it's interesting this whole storyline with Cal and like what he's trying to do by Stopping from the Empire from growing essentially across the galaxy Is that he just he doesn't really have a purpose because like he basically went from being a Padawan and Ouch. his master died and so like this is pretty much all he knows. Are these what's food grease? Hmm? You're okay, bud. Probably shouldn't uh, uh, swipe at the pet. I 
But yeah, uh, it's an interesting dynamic. That's why this game is so good, because it really gets into the nitty gritty with characters. Oh. What's this? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's your pest problem, Grease. Right, let's see here. What we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. Okay. Always gotta be bugs, man. Careful around here, bud. Nobody's used these tunnels for a long time now. Dusty and abandoned. So those little green things, uh, that's actually an ability you unlock later on in the campaign. Uh, it's like a dash move that you can like, get through this. It's pretty cool if you end up um, going through a lot of the same areas uh, and looking for these, because they'll unlock some newer areas. Um, this one looks like more of a shortcut, but I, yeah, because that's where we kind of came in. But um, there are some really cool ones, though, where they kind of unlock some different areas. Oh. Is that it? Oh, there's a safe spot right there. Perfect. The sooner we get to Greece, the sooner we can. We should check this out. We should. Let's keep going. Almost reminds me of the Jedi training grounds. But it feels different. Older. Don't want to do that. Nope. Um, sir, go the other way, please. Um, Cal, Cal, I'm gonna need you to. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing right there. What is this place? Power's still running down here. Let's see if we can hit the lights. Sorry it has come to this. Will it be a complete memory purge? No. Only what the council demanded. Then at least I shall remember you. I am ready. What is your name, droid? I am CNA4, of course. How may I serve the order? Graphics are really in this game. 
Tell me how to navigate the Kobo Abyss. I have no information on that in my memory banks. Master Kree, you are aware the Republic has issued a full-scale evacuation order. I am. Um, that is why I have a very important task for you, Z. Take this. A tuner? Oh, what a fine model. Use that to open the forest array. Travel underground. Stop for no one. That is an order, Z. Am I not coming with you? No. The key to Tantalor is in that array. If you do not hurry, mm. I think you'll be lost forever. May the force be with you. So this, you can tell, she's wearing like you're familiar at all with like the High Republic books or the High Republic era. That's what she's wearing, like High Republic robes, Jedi robes. And that was essentially when the Jedi were kind of at the height of their power, it's the High Republic. Your name's Z? Yes, it is. How do you know? Oh, no. I'm trapped. I've been trapped for... How long has it been? I'm Cal. This is BD. Been a while. Pleasure to meet you both. Some help would be most appreciated. Hmm. Okay, well, we have these uh, little spheres, so you probably need to find one of those. Not completely, Z. I'm a Jedi, all right. But you're not even wearing the proper robes. <laughs> nope. I'm more of a poncho guy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much like the only outfit um, Cal had in the last game was ponchos. So it's kind of like a running joke in this game. Alright, so we want to connect this over here. Use the orbs to activate the bridge. Then you can reach the crane controls. Uh, I think? After so many idle years, who really knows? This droid's got more than a screw loose. <laughs> what was that? I, uh, said, hold tight, Z. took them. I was knighted in the field. And what was the reason for this flagrant breach of protocol? It's a long story. Take a look. Classic Star Wars. Well, I, I must admit, I am in need of repair. <laughs> oh. So, Z, what's Tantalor? Hmm. A planet hidden within the Kobo base. Hmm. It's home to a Jedi temple. of the Order's light on the galactic frontier. But is that what my master hoped Tannalor might become? That should do it for now. Just gotta figure a way out of this place. Well, I can help with that. It's this... Was it that? No. Oh! Yes, it is this way. Follow me. I see where we 
are? A meditation chamber. Mars decree designed it to train Jedi. I remember this. Don't recall what it does, however. Master Kree had a brilliant mind. Do you know her, Cal? Can't say I do. No matter, but I think she would have liked you. The exit is this way. I am very fortunate you came along when you did. Yeah, you could have been down here forever. Hmm. So there's actually, um... There's multiple areas like this in the game. They're basically High Republic like? shrines, oh, essentially. Place. How do I get there? Navigate the Kobo Abyss. That must be the knowledge your master purged from your memory banks. Well, she must have had her reasons. Basically, these shrines, uh, you can do them throughout the game, and uh, you'll be able to unlock um, like skill points through them. But they're like little puzzles. They're really cool. Probably won't do too many of them in this playthrough, but they are really neat uh, parts of the game, and there's a ton of them too. Oh, perfect. An old Jawas. Oh, that, oh, look at that guy. That is Bode. Good to see you, Gal. Grease Dritus, this is Bode Kuna. He was on Coruscant. Wouldn't have made it out alive without his help. Oh, all right. Hi, nice to meet you. Unfortunately, I don't think I have another bed available. <sighs> another one? Cal, you have a very bad habit of picking up strays. <laughs> Marin was actually oh, one of those strays in the first game. Yet. That she I was trapped underground. I've never seen this design before. This droid almost looks like an antique. Did you find anything down there worth credits? Credits? <laughs> Cal, you have saved me, but I must ask more to steal. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> Master Centauri ordered me to open the forest array, but. Given my condition, I cannot fulfill that duty. Please. If I fail my mission, the key to Tanalor may be lost forever. Wait a minute. Did you just say Tanalor? You've heard of it? Yeah, it's an old prospector's legend about a lost world filled with treasure. Maybe this droid proves it's more than a myth. Could be worth checking out. Yeah, but first, I gotta fix the mantis before the raiders snatch it. I'll escort you out there. Watch your back while you make the repairs. Huh. Is he as tough as he looks? Next to Seer, he's the best marksman I've ever met. <laughs> okay. We'll take care of the mantis. I'll go see what's in the forest. Thank you, Cal. As soon as I am in full operating order, I will join you in the forest array. Oh, boy. Uh, Z. <laughs> this guy's spunk. While they're all sallying forth, why don't you ease up on the thrusters? Come along. I can get you tuned up, shined up, and uh, <clears throat> caught up on the state of the galaxy. Cal, I'm going to lock up the saloon so the raiders don't trash it. My Use pleasure. the back door, would you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, bartender, where's this oil bar? Come in right <laughs> The dialogue in this game is so good. There we go. Alright. So that's probably a good place to end it. Z told us about. This is like a good kind of in the middle type episode before we get into our next adventure um, in episode 5. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, 
leave a comment down below if you enjoy the series so far and uh leave a like if you want to see more of this i'm planning on doing pretty much a pl full playthrough of this game so just to have something else on the channel something else for people to watch and enjoy and uh if you like these type of gameplay videos that i do then uh that's pretty cool because i'll probably do more of them so thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one bye